This is Kubota. He is a bull mastiff. He's actually being very cooperative. Here's a dog skull. This is your skull, buddy. Just kind of like yours, right here. And if we compare human, <laughs> if we compare human and dog, what's the, the most interesting bone that's obvious is that in the human, we've got the nasal bone in blue, and in the dog, it's much elongated. That's why a dog has a snout, also known as a muzzle. So if we look at Kubota, he's kind of got a stubbier nose, I guess, but here's his nose here. And why does a dog have such a superior sense of smell to a human? Because they have a bone inside their nose. It's the turbinate. They call them the turbinates. It's like the word turbine, because they're, they're spiraled. And if you look inside a dog's nasal cavity, right here, there's a huge amount of surface area from the uh, from the turbinate bones, which is why their smell is so much superior to our own. As well, they have 40 times more area in their brain devoted to analyzing smell than humans do.